Hey everybody and welcome back to Do It Girl. So I was totally puzzled on what type of craft I should do this week. I had a lot of leftover paint and jewelry supplies lying around, but I didn't really know how to put the pieces together. And then I jigsaw it in a vision. Are any of these super puns giving you a clue? This week I'm going to show you how to make a super cute BFF jigsaw puzzle necklace. Let's do it, girl. For this craft, you're going to need several big puzzle pieces that also connect to each other. The idea is to have one piece for each person in your group, whether it's just two for you and your BFF or 20 for your entire sports team. Kitty puzzles work best because they have the largest pieces and you can find puzzles like that at thrift stores for under a dollar. I took my pieces from a puzzle that I haven't touched in decades and I'm guessing it's probably missing a few pieces anyways. You're also going to need a necklace with a clasp or a necklace chain and jump rings, acrylic paint or spray paint, Mod Podge and a paintbrush, a cutting tool, a hole punch or piercing tool, and a metallic permanent marker or three dimensional paint, otherwise known as puff paint. You can make this type of paint yourself if you follow my super easy DIY puff paint tutorial from my stained glass jar lights video. Otherwise, you can most likely find this type of paint at an art or craft store. All right, let's put this puzzle together. Step one. The first step is to create a hole in each puzzle piece using your hole punch or piercing tool. This is where you're eventually going to place your necklace, so be careful not to form your hole too close to the edge of your pieces. Step two. Once you pierce each piece, it's time to create your puzzle canvas. Now to turn your new canvas into a blank canvas, you're going to want to paint each piece one solid color. Paint the front and back of each piece individually. Let the paint dry completely. Then connect your pieces together and add one more coat of paint over and under. Once your paint has again dried completely, seal it in with your Mod Podge. There are so many different types of Mod Podge out there these days, and usually for this craft, I would recommend glossy Mod Podge. However, as I was shopping, I stumbled upon this. Puzzle piece Mod Podge. Yeah, it's totes per. Totally perfect. Isn't that what the cool kids are saying? Step three, once your pieces are dry, the fun part begins. Decorate your puzzle canvas using your marker or puff paint. Make sure to accentuate any word with additional swirls, dots, and circles for a pretty touch. Remember that once you pull each piece apart, the design is going to look totally different for each one, so get creative here. No matter how you decorate, make sure to let your pieces dry completely when finished. If you're working with puff paint, then use your cutting tool to separate each piece in order to get clean lines. Step four, the final step is to turn your puzzle pieces into necklaces. Loop your necklace through the hole of your puzzle piece and now you've got some one-of-a-kind BFF jewelry. Now, just like most of my DIYs, there are several different ways of making this necklace. Like, it doesn't even have to be a necklace. You could attach the puzzle piece to a bracelet or a keychain. If you don't want to waste perfectly good puzzle pieces, then just make your own. There are a lot of online websites with puzzle piece templates that you can print out from your computer and then you can trace them onto spare cardboard. This DIY makes such a great holiday gift that can include a bunch of your friends at once. And speaking of gifts, I only need one of these puzzle pieces, which means that there are five more pieces for me to give away. That's right, I'm going to send these five pieces to Caitlin, Haley, and the rest of the girl team. Who knows, maybe they'll even sport their new jewelry in one of their future videos. Keep an eye out for me and let me know. How did your BFF puzzle piece jewelry turn out? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Answering potential puzzle questions. How much does this craft cost? Well, I already have the puzzle pieces from around the house and the chains, so I really just needed to buy the puzzle Mod Podge, puff paint, and the marker. All of that cost me about $10, so I suppose it could cost up to $20 for this craft. How long does this craft take? Well, if you're letting the puff paint dry, then this craft will take about a day, but it took me under an hour with the marker. And for those of you who are paying super close attention, between yesterday and today while waiting for the puff paint to dry, I got my hair cut. Yes, yeah, so I have a brand new bang to sport for you in any future Do It Girl video. So my hair is different from the beginning of the video to the end. All right, have fun crafting.